So what is your favorite way to read comics? What's going on everybody? Justin here aka No Good Comics and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm asking the question what is your favorite way to read comic books and I'm taking the answers that were given to me from my last video, my top five picks video, uh, the comments section there. So I uh, appreciate everybody who had left me a comment and again uh, just curious to see what your favorite way to read comics is. This can mean from single issues to trade paperbacks and hardcovers and uh, maybe you like to read omnibus, uh, maybe you read as a digital reader. Uh, maybe it's a blur or a blend of everything. So uh, we're going to dive into it. Um, but first, take a moment, smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, appreciate that as always. Uh, but let's get into it. So for me, uh, my my way for the most part, and I'm sure many of you know if you've been following my channel for a while, I'm a huge fan of digital reading. Uh, you know, when it comes to, to uh, you know, I use Comixology, I use Marvel Unlimited, uh, mainly those two in terms of, uh, you know, and I do it all on my iPad. Uh, got the, the nice you know 12.9 inch ipad uh because i felt like that was just the best way to go if i was going to really go all in on on reading on, on this type of platform uh, as often as i do so um you know definitely wanted to go you know kind of all out in that sense but uh yeah so other than that i have been kind of dipping into the interest of omnibus a bit more now granted i do have an actual uh show that's kind of based around an omnibus uh talking about uh my my show with john from john's comics with kids uh the Omni X-Men. Uh, so yeah, that was kind of the thing to kick it off. But I'll tell you, like ever since then, I've kind of really started to fall in love with the medium in general, uh, reading from these, these beautiful, uh, you know, hardcovers and, and, uh, and omnibus editions. So, um, you know, between the, the X-Men stuff, uh, the Sandman that I just got for Christmas, um, uh, I've been reading a ton of Deadly Class recently, thanks to my friend Jason, who has lent me his, his omnibus edition of that. Um, and the list goes on. I've been uh, slowly, you know, buying more and more, and it's definitely a slippery slope. Slope, but it is one that I'm really enjoying as well. So, um, you know, for me personally, it's the digital stuff uh, and it's the omnibus stuff. And something I should also clarify too with the digital stuff, um, I won't get into <clears throat> too much of the details, but uh, I love the fact that it's so convenient to travel with. Um, I, I love that I can, you know, have any option of almost any book I want to read at any given moment. Um, you know, again, whether I am traveling or even if I'm just home, um, it also doesn't take up as much space. Uh, as, as the physical stuff does, which is always convenient as well. Um, and then I also personally really enjoy that uh, panel to panel feature, uh, you know, that really zooms in on each panel as you read, especially for the newer stuff, the modern stuff, um, you know, that in which it, it's kind of purposely designed for. Um, so I really enjoy that. It gives that, that cinematic feel. Um, and I have a whole video on that if you want to check that out, kind of some of the reasons why I choose digital reading uh, over a lot of the physical stuff. Um, but yeah, otherwise... Um, yeah, the omnibus definitely. Um, I love that that medium as well. And then um, I, I do occasionally read some of the single, you know, floppy uh, uh, issues as well. Um, not as often as I as as others do, but um, you know, sometimes if I if I have the book, if I bought it because of a certain cover and I was planning to read it anyways, then I might just read that particular issue. Um, sometimes I do like to go back to the old old stuff. So if I'm looking at if I have some of my back bin issues, um, you know, an X Men book or, or something to that that effect, um, that I just I just feel like I want to have that that uh, almost I don't know, just bringing it back to like this old school vibe of of flipping through that that original type of page. And, and getting that smell and everything else, then I will occasionally, occasionally do that. Not very often, but I will occasionally do that. And I totally get, you know, the love for that. Um, and, and so I, I totally understand that aspect of it as well. Um, so anyways, that kind of covers it for me. Uh, like I said, probably like 90% uh, of my reading is done digitally uh, and the rest physically. So that's kind of where I'm at at the moment. But uh, yeah, I'm curious to, to know more on details of like what you prefer. Um, you know, do you like uh, waiting week by week to, to get these single issues or, you know, a lot of the new stuff that I'm reading right now, that's another thing. I'd rather, um, I do buy them digitally just because um, I want to get them right away. Maybe that morning, Wednesday morning, um, I like to buy them digitally just to be able to jump right into it uh, as opposed to having to wait to go to my shop. Some people can't get to their shops till the weekend, things like that. So there there are those those kind of positives as well um, for the digital aspect of it. Um, but, you know, this question also asks, asks in terms of like, do you like to read in trade format? Meaning, you know, do you like to read in sets of, um, you know, story arcs as opposed to just broken up uh, issues. And I think a lot of that depends on if you're reading new stuff or old stuff, because the new stuff I feel like really is purposely written for 
um, the trade format. So, uh, you know, getting a full story in six, five or six issues versus, you know, really being led on and only getting a little piece of it during that first or second or third issue. Uh, whereas obviously the older stuff, um, you know, uh, the, the silver, bronze, you know, obviously golden age, um, you know, any of those, that material, uh, a lot of that stems from, you know, you read one issue and you get the full story in that one issue. Yeah, there's a lot of text. Yeah, there's a lot of back, you know, background to it. Um, but you get the full issue in that one story arc. So some people, um, you know, might prefer to just read single issue because of the fact that they're reading a lot more older books than they are newer. Um, so again, it really kind of depends, I think, on your, um, your interests and, and what you put more time into newer stuff, um, uh, the classics, um, you know, things like that. So, uh, with all that being said, uh, we would love to still hear what you think. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. I do want to highlight some, uh, answers that I got, like I mentioned before. So I'm going to put them up on screen. Now we're going to start with the very first one and it's by my good friend, Eric. Uh, and Eric says, I think you'll agree that it depends on what you're reading. Yep. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> I, I like reading some in trade. Otherwise it's like watching a movie, but pausing it every 15 minutes and picking it back up a week, uh, a week or two later. I totally agree with this. Uh, however, the anticipation and excitement that comes and uh, comes with waiting for the next issue is definitely enjoyable. I haven't read anything bigger than a trade, but I'm tempted to start some X-Men and TMNT Omnis. Man, Eric, that is a great comment. I really appreciate that. Uh, yeah, you make some really good points, man. I, I totally agree, uh, especially, again, depending what you're into, right? As I was just saying, if it's newer stuff, uh, it does feel like yeah, you're only getting like a 15 minute clip of a story uh, when really you want the full hour or hour and a half movie. Um, and so, yeah, that I, I totally get, you know, wanting to wait for the trade and just kind of read out and get that full story the way you would if you were reading, you know, a classic Silver Age book, uh, you know, that was much more wordier, much more detail uh, and more pages maybe. Um, but, it, you know, you, but, but it, you got the full story. So, um, yeah, as you mentioned right off the bat, I think it definitely depends on what you are into first and foremost. Uh, I highly recommend checking out some Omnibus because there's some great collections out there. And obviously, especially for X-Men. Uh, so definitely check that out. See my dog. He agrees. He's very excited about you, Eric, you know, getting some some Omnis. Uh, so, yeah, definitely check that out. Uh, I know you mentioned some TMNT. Uh, that's cool, too. I know you've been reading a lot of the new stuff for that. So, um, yeah, definitely check that out. The, uh, the other point that you made too there is the factor of the anticipation you know the excitement the kind of the um not fomo but i guess whatever it is of of uh, um you know the excitement of just getting that new book right so um you know having that every week or every other week or however often these books are being released for you um you know that 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 is an exciting aspect of it and uh wanting to just you know dive right in the minute it comes out so i get that side of it as well um but eric thank you so much for the comment Next up, we have my man Sleepy Reader 666, aka Damien. Damien says, "Great T-shirt, thank you. I think I was wearing my uh, my what was I wearing? Oh, my my Saga shirt. I think I, I believe I was wearing that. Uh, and he says, my favorite way to read is in single issues, uh, in a big comfy chair with my feet up. Second favorite way is with the oversized hardback that has good binding, so that uh, there's no gutter loss. However, I love reading comics aloud with my daughter." And in, any, and in that case, reading together on a tablet panel by panel is a really excellent and engaging way to go. Damien, I could not agree more, especially with what you said about reading out loud. Uh, my girlfriend and I do that for a couple of different series that we're reading right now, uh, one of them being Nice House on the Lake. Um, and I should clarify, my girlfriend doesn't really read too much into comics. She's not that big of a fan. Uh, but anything that I recommend and, and think that she might like, something that's more uh, of an, a genre down down uh, her interest way, um, I, I, I let her know about. And that's how we go about reading it. We've been reading Nightwing as well, um, you know, the, the Tom Taylor stuff. And she's been really enjoying that as well. Um, but I love that you do that with your daughter. Like, uh, take some time. And, and I'll tell you, it definitely adds a different dimension when you are taking time to read it aloud. And, um, and it depends too. Like I'm curious, Damien, if you, uh, if you and your daughter, if you guys act out, uh, kind of the voices, do you give voices to some of the characters? Do you just read it straightforward? Um, lately I've been trying to get better at that and really giving certain, uh, voices and dynamic and dimension to these characters that I read. Um, and, and we get a laugh from it. We get a chuckle from it. Um, as we, as we do that as well. But, uh, either way, I think that's awesome that you do that with your daughter, uh, as like, again, just another element to, to add into, um, you know, the reading, uh, aspect of it. And so it's really cool. Um, yeah. And then, um, I like that you, you know, you have this kind of, 
uh, set couple different ways that you like to go about it, which is great. Um, you know, the, 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 the mention of single issues, you know, on your big comfy chair with your feet up. I think that's awesome. It's a great way to go. Uh, you know, sounds like, uh, you know, you could just kind of shut out the rest of the world and just focus on, on your uh, single issues. Um, and then otherwise you mentioned the oversized hardbacks, which I forgot to mention earlier. I do have a couple of, uh, oversized hardbacks and, um, those are beautiful. Um, the one I have right now, uh, what is it? Um, oh, Lady Killer, uh, just looking over at my, uh, at my shelf here and that was one that just came in it's like a library edition um you know much bigger and taller than uh than the average so uh yeah i'm looking forward to getting into uh to that as well uh, but as always damien thank you so much for the comment next up i got my man bdg comics and he says floppies for series that i can't wait for hardcovers for series that i can wait for and have good reviews trades somewhere in between that uh, and then he says, for, for me, any digital reading is, uh, is for books that I have low expectation for, or if my shop doesn't get them. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, I think, uh, some really great points that you make there, BDG. Um, first of all, uh, I <laughs> love that you are, you, you have this like real detailed list of kind of, uh, uh of the way you want to go, depending on how you feel about the series, which makes a lot of sense, right? I mean, there are some where it's like, you know, it's, it's something I haven't touched base on yet, but it's like, there's some things where it's like, well, I heard this was good. It's only two issues out. I'm going to, uh, you know, let it go to trade and then read it that way. Or maybe like, I know I missed the train on, um, something is killing the children at first. And, uh, it kind of worked out for me because even though I missed, uh, and what, you know, I wasn't buying the issues. Um, I was able to like, just wait for the trade to finish and then just sit down and read the entire trade. And in my opinion, I thought something like, uh, something is killing the children was fantastic in, in a trade format. So, um, you know, now that's made me now, now all those books that are coming out for something is killing the children, uh, to me, I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna wait for the trade and I'm going to read the trade. Um, you know, that's my goal for that. So, um, again, kind of going back to, it depends what you're into, depends what you're waiting on and what you're interested in. Um, it could, you could kind of strategize that way. Um, the other thing you mentioned with the digital stuff, I totally get it. It's a, it, that's what, that's another good thing about digital is like, yeah, if your shop doesn't get the book, right. If, if you don't, uh, if you can't get your hands on the physical copy, especially of a new book, um, then, you know, but you really wanted to read it and you wanted to read it right then and there, then that's a perfect way to go about it. At least you can download it, you know, read it that way. And if you like it, then maybe you find it in the hunt later on, but at least you were able to get it and not have to deal with kind of that FOMO when you hear all these other, you know, content creators talking about the book that you wanted to read. So, um, yeah, it's a great way to go about it as well. Um, I like that you add in some hard covers, right? Depending on if it's stuff that you can wait for, but you're hearing really good things about, um, then those are, that's, that's perfect. Like an omnibus or a collected edition of some sort where it has a lot of issues. Um, perfect to, uh, to wait on purpose to get that hardcover collection. Uh, so yeah, as always, BDG, thank you so much for the comment. All right. So the last question goes to my man, Unruly Simeon, who says, trades and omnis, but prefer the deluxe hardcovers. Very rarely read floppies. Unruly, straight to the point. I always appreciate that, my man, and uh, thank you for the comment. Uh, yeah, I'm with you, man. I definitely, I, it's been growing on me, these Omnis. Uh, you even mentioned trades. Just the idea of, like, you know, sitting down and, and reading through a full story arc. Um, again, to me, it's just like, I, I, I am enjoying that more and especially for the new stuff, right? I, I get, uh, again, the silver age stuff that's kind of broken up a little bit more where you can read just one issue and get that full story. But if you're reading more modern stuff, um, um, you know, uh, especially brand new things that are just new comic books just coming out, uh, it, it, you know, week to week, then I think that, uh, you know, it's a good way to wait, wait for those trades, wait for those omnis, uh, read them that way. Those deluxe editions, they really are uh, nice for sure. So, um, but I appreciate the comment on Ruli Simeon as always. All right, guys, and there you have it. Those were some of the comments that I got from last week, my top five uh, new comic book day picks. And uh, again, if you want to participate in these Wednesday videos and have your comic book read, uh, just leave a comment and, and answer the question that I ask on my Thursday videos. They air every Thursday at 12.30 Eastern. They are my top five picks for new comic book day. My dog is very excited about it as well. So uh, we'd love to see your comments and hear your thoughts on some of the questions I've been asking lately. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll feature them here on these Wednesday videos. But uh, as always, I appreciate appreciate you hanging out and taking the time to watch. Make sure you smash the like button on the way out. And until next time, I will talk to you later.